Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh cheers. 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 Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a couple months ago, I had a client that got Dr. Plek tattooed on his outer calf. So, because a lot of people get that tattoo, then not a lot of people know about the history behind that tattoo. Dr. Play is the thing with the... With the peak. With, with the all peak, the... Right? Yeah. Beak or peak? A beak. A beak. Yeah, yeah. A beak. They used to put uh, herbs in there, right? Oh, so you guys know a little bit. I mean, from your video, that's what I found out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I saw that one. It's like here, too. I mean, like, I saw it, but you know, like, when you watch the TikToks and you don't put the volume oh, okay, up? Yeah. The story is about the bubonic plague, better known as the Black Death. Say it again. Bubonic. <laughs> say it again. The, the bubonic. Is that how you really say it? Yeah, it's uh, B U B A N I C. Bubonic. 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 The first cases of the bubonic plague, better known as the Black Death, okay. mm. were discovered in the 14th century. The plague was the most devastating pandemic in the history of humanity. We're still in a pandemic. No, this is the, this is bigger. This one is crazy. Okay. It affected the entire Europe continent, killing 60% of the Europeans. But before it reached Europe, hold on, let me let me pause there. Yeah. 60% of the population of Europe. Wow. It killed 60% of the population of it Europe. Killed. Before it got to Europe? No, hold on, hold on. I was about to keep reading, oh. but I wanted to like highlight the fact that it, that it killed. 60% of the population. How does one know they got the black pet plague? Oh wait, I won't we'll get in there. The rats. Rats. Rats carry the virus. And because back then they used to travel through boats and ships mm -hmm. to distribute merchandise, food, whatever they needed to distribute. Across oh, the, the rats continent. were in the boats. So after the rats died, the fleas didn't have no more food. So they started jumping onto uh, coats or their coats, their clothes, or anything they were wearing, their hair, mm. and they started biting their skin. So the virus was in the fleas and they got transmitted onto human. Salud. Salud again. Well, Salud. that is still counts. Salud. Still counts. Salud. Uh, so the other camera almost caught on fire, so. <laughs> It got overheated, so now we have to switch the two cameras now. It was known as the bubonic plague because it could turn the skin and sores black. Mm. Disgusting. Like Disgusting. frostbite. Disgusting, yeah. While other symptoms include fever and joint pains, right? But I started, I started wondering, I was like, okay, we, we have the surface of what the plague does to you. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to go in depth, so I started researching like what other things like cause more symptoms. More symptoms. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> it's juicy. I'm interested. It's juicy. So more intense symptoms would be bleeding from the mouth, nose, and rectum. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Signs of shock, such as seizure, seizures, 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 rash, and low blood pressure. Wow. And the worst one. Gangrene. That's, those were more like intense Yikes. symptoms. Like people who. And they're not that. eating like Chipotle or. <laughs> like, what? Damn. This is just strictly black plague. That's what happens to you if you eat Chipotle? I mean, <laughs> it happens to the best of us. I don't know. I, I'm ways excited. to get infected. This, is, this was ridiculous. This was a conspiracy that, that were like making up because they, they were under a lot of stress and a lot of like unanswered questions. Mm -hmm. Around that time, earthquakes started happening. So doctors claim that because of the earthquakes, bad air was getting released into the air and causing the plague. Boys, like, Damn, man, we believe everything. That's, huh? not, that's insane. <laughs> Mother nature, fair mother. <laughs> so earthquakes happened, a little crack opened, and bad air was released onto the environment, and people got infected. <laughs> that that's was what. Crazy. Insane. But oh. it's like, you know how like people still believe that the world is round. It's kind of like crazy. It's kind of like that. It's just the <laughs> oh, wait, 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 w
they thought it was God punishing them from all their sins. Mm. So they would show up to pray, but they were dying because everybody that would show up, it was infected. Well, that kind of <laughs> happened around COVID too. That also happened around COVID. People were believing that like he was like removing all the people who were like sinning. Mm -hmm. This one is wild. They blamed a lot of people because they were desperate to find answers. They started blaming the Jews from Switzerland. They claimed they were, they claimed they were contaminating the water with the bubonic plague. Wow. So they, they went out there to start torturing the people to always confess. Like, always putting it on the Jews. Oh, man. Man. They're not doing nothing. So they found out that they were, it wasn't true because they were also dying of the pandemic. So they were like, wait. They can't be the ones if they're also You're dying, dying too? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then this last one, we saw it during COVID-19 too. They started going out there and they're like, if we are going to die, we're going to enjoy life. So they were infected. So they started going out there, partying, having sex, all these things. Damn. <laughs> they had nightclubs back then or they had like some kind of... I don't know what Festivals? they had, but they were having fun. We were then with the art. <laughs> To stop the pandemic, mm -hmm. the Dr. Plague was born, mm -hmm. who were the doctors specializing in taking care of those infected by the disease. These doctors were hired by the village and they took care of citizens of all social classes, rich and poor. Good for them. Yeah, so they were, they were helping everybody because there was so much going on during the pandemic. A lot of people were dying. There were not enough doctors, so people from other professions were hired to assist the infected. So imagine being like a firefighter and be like, oh, I gotta become a doctor today. Or like a police or a construction worker or plumber. The top's already water because you let it. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, look like at mine. I just all the way done. Yeah. Wait, how much did you put in here? Enough or? How do you feel? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Given the risk of the task, it was very difficult to find people prepared to do the work. Many of them died and others fled. <laughs> They're like, yo, please, I'm not helping out here. Makes sense. Maybe if you had any type of healthcare or something specializing in it. But even the doctors didn't have my, much knowledge back then. So it wasn't. How, it's know, like a new disease. It's a new, like, how would you even care for it? Would you just cover the, the sores with something? I'm getting to that, how to treat it. Oh. <laughs> okay. The plague doctors invented the mask to protect themselves from bad, bad air, which it had roses and herbs inside of the Like to filter. Yeah, to filter, but also they believed that the uh, aroma would help to kill the, the virus. Is that true? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but they believed it helped. The plague doctors had a common accessory, a wooden cane that they used to examine patients without having to touch them. Okay. And that little cane, like, are you okay, bro? <laughs> I would have those little shark things, you know, the things that opens up. Oh, just are like, not open wide. Yeah. <laughs> squirt, squirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, Why like, the squirt, squirt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought about like. <laughs> For who you're talking about, a cane, you're like, you're like squirting I something. About. Squirting something into their mouths. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, where, where did the score oh, come from? Yeah. <laughs> Some infected thought that the Black Death was a was punishment from God, and they asked the doctors to be whipped with the cane to compensate for their sins. Oh. The way to treat this disease. Whack them. There was a lot of superstitious remedies out there. Uh huh. Uh, just like Mexicans, you know, they have Vicks. Yeah, what Vicks is works. Seven Vicks. Up. Where, what is it? Seven up. Seven up. Uh, what's the other one? Um, Yerba buena, <laughs> the little uh, green. Uh, they do like the little egg with like herbs and stuff. Oh, what is that? That's witchcraft. Yeah, that's like. <laughs> that's what is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Superstitious practices such as burning aromatic herbs and bathing in rose water or vinegar. Vinegar is a big thing. I mean, I feel like still is right now. So they were using vinegar to to clean, expunge themselves. They were onto something. They were onto something back then. Yeah. Vinegar has been known as a disinfectant since ancient mm -hmm. green times. Still is. I guess the superstition behind these remedies, they're a little too intense because they were just desperate to find a cure. So I understand why they went to these extremes. Onion one was one of the home remedies that desperate doctors and patients uh, like to try to use to cure the plague by rubbing chopped onions on the sword. Did you see that? <laughs> Loving. What was that? 
bit. No. <laughs> so they rub, rub onion. They r- rubbing chopped onions on the sores. Maybe because the burning sensation feels like it's like bacteria burning off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would maybe maybe I'll feel like it gets working. Another one is called blood lady. Basically cutting the veins and let it pour because they believe that's like that. suicide. <laughs> yeah, that's like. But I'm pretty sure they were doing sideways, not that one. Maybe they were doing sideways. Oh, I don't. Okay. I don't know if that's. Yeah, bro. Is I've never cut my veins so. Well, damn. <laughs> I hold mean, on, on. he's like, he's like, you okay. don't, you don't want to do it like that. You want to do you're it really, like that. You really messed him up because he was about to keep going. He's just like, damn. Hold on. Right. When I was in criminal justice, uh-huh. they were saying in order to help someone in case uh, to, if you go into somebody's home uh, and they cut sideways, you have a chance to put pressure uh-huh. and the blood stops. But if you cut, if, if the person cuts down, there is a small chance you can save that person because veins run down. So if you run down, everything pours out. But if you cut sideways, the blood, the blood starts pouring out, but not as quick. Okay. So let's continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Another one is the victory method. It involves plucking feathers from a chicken rump and then tying the chicken to the patient so that the chicken rump was touching the patient's sores, believed that the chickens are <laughs> breathing through the bottom, so therefore the chicken would draw the infection out of the patient. If the patient died, then so be it. But if the poor chicken died first, then they would simply pluck and attach another one. <laughs> and that's how we got chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. The chicken's booty hole on the sore just... I like how you said rump. I like, yeah, I was to say that. I like that they call it a rump yeah, instead of like a uh, chicken's butt. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know why they thought that they, was, they were breathing the infection through the booty hole. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so how did they get the chickens to stay so calm? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that the, no have you I, ever hold the chicken before alive? Yes. Yeah. It's hard. Like, you have to wrestle the chicken to make it stay. Maybe these wrestle. were obedient chickens. <laughs> Everyone had to step up. People had to be doctors. Chickens had to be... <laughs> <laughs> no, the last one is disgusting. Oh, wait. Let me take a drink. Feces to oh, be wait. mixed with ground... Feces. Lini- feces. Feces? What you say? <laughs> Poop to be mixed with ground lily root and tree soap. And after, it was, it was applied to the open wound... It would be tight, tightly bound with cloth. It would. It would I think tight. that one's the best one out of all of them. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I have. I heard soap for the first time, and I like where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that story. Yeah, that was really I had fun. To really interesting. Story. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. 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 And we out. <laughs> and we out of here. <laughs>